The animal kingdom is full of all kinds of different critters, and many of them are truly bafflingly odd. These are the most bizarre animals that shouldn't exist. Number 20. Giant Squid when we hear old sailor stories about marine monsters attacking their ships, they're probably referring to the terrifying giant squid. These animals shouldn't exist on Earth, but they damn well do. They look like some out of a horror movie, but they are as real as you and me. They are deep immersion marine animals that reach extraordinary dimensions. Recent estimates suggest a maximum of 10 meters for males and up to 14 meters for females. There's also been speculation of the existence of specimens of much more than 20 meters and half a ton in weight, although this has not been confirmed. One of the largest specimens ever seen was a female almost 18 meters long, whose corpse was stranded on a New Zealand beach in 1887. There's also mention of another specimen accidentally captured in 1933 in New Zealand waters of 21 meters in length and 275 kilograms in weight. The tentacles, located on the head, measure from 2.5 to 6 times the length of the mantle or visceral sac and form the majority of the body length. The first video images of a live specimen in the wild were taken in the summer of 2012. The arms are equipped with hundreds of suction cups in two rows lengthwise, each mounted on an individual base and provided around its circumference with a tooth ring that helps it capture its prey by grasping it firmly between the suction and the mouth. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. Let's talk about the Elasmosaurus. These animals shouldn't exist on Earth, but they damn well do. These prehistoric reptiles lived 80 to 65 million years ago. They were very long, about 13 meters, with most of that being head and neck. They looked very weird compared to the other animals of their time. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag odd topic. Number 19. Bowfin Fish Its body is wide and its light green color is almost yellow. The males have on each side of the tail and in front of it a large black spot surrounded by an orange or a yellow circle. The fins of the males turn green during the mating season. Bowfin Fish, or Amia calva, usually live in lakes and ponds and builds its nest by uprooting aquatic plants with its teeth, which leaves circular holes in the mud where the females lay their eggs. Then, the male fertilizes these eggs and guards them jealously, fighting against any intruder that approaches them. When they are born, the babies remain closely grouped and the adult male continues his guard duty until they reach between 3 and 4 inches in length. Sometimes, the young of a single nest comprise close to a thousand babies. The main characteristic of this fish is to be able to breathe atmospheric air through its mouth. For this, it frequently rises to the surface and inhales a few puffs from the outside, since it's provided with numerous blood vessels in the swim bladder, which works as a lung, thus allowing it to resist up to 24 hours out of the water. The structure of its vertebral column is also peculiar, as well as that of its paired fins, which differentiate it from other bony fish. Number 18. Saber-toothed deer They are almost exclusive to a part of Asia between northwestern Myanmar and central and southern China, where they take refuge in very dense forests in mountainous regions, which makes it very difficult for them to be seen by human beings. These curious deer are considered small animals among their own. Possibly the most striking feature of the saber-toothed deer is the pair of long fangs that protrude from its mouth on each side, which gives it a vampire-like appearance and in a certain sense could remind us of saber-toothed tigers. Well, it turns out that these little animals do not have incisor teeth in the upper parts of their mouth. So to chew the grass, they strongly press their lower teeth against a pad that they have, and that makes up for the lack of said teeth. These fangs have not been proven to be used for food. However, it has been seen that they use them as a defense tool, which is their main protection mechanism against the attack of a predator, such as leopards. That said, its actual effectiveness remains to be studied. It's possible that, in this sense, they replace the function of the antlers, which are so poorly developed in this species. Number 17. Razor Clam 
Also known as Ensis, the razor clam is a species of marine and edible bivalve shellfish found in coastal areas and is part of the Faridae family. They are commonly called razor clams due to their conical shape that resembles an old-school shaving razor you'd find in barber shops. This species of the genus Ensis lives in the sand on beaches and can burrow very quickly. The easiest way to capture them is by pouring a little salt at the entrance of the cavities they dig. The razor clam will then try to escape the salt by running out of its hole to the point where it can be picked up by the shell. Ironic if you consider that they actually live in salt water, right? Pacific razor clams are a highly desirable shellfish species and are collected by both commercial and recreational harvesters. Like many other species of shellfish, razor clams may accumulate dangerous levels of the marine toxin domoic acid. Harvesters should check current public health recommendations by marine authorities before collecting razor clams. They look quite threatening, having the shape of a razor and all, but they are absolutely harmless and lots of people consider them a delicacy. Number 16. Blue Glaucus as gorgeous as this little creature may look, you should never, ever attempt to touch it. If you do, get ready to live through one of the most painful experiences of your whole life. They are sometimes called Blue Sea Dragon, Sea Swallow, or Blue Angel. But despite their very cool name, this animal is in fact a species of brightly colored sea slug, or nudie branch. It can be found throughout the world's seas in temperate and tropical waters. Some regions where this slug is found include the eastern and southern coasts of South Africa, European waters, the eastern coast of Australia, and Mozambique. This species floats upside down on the surface tension of the ocean. Although they live in the open sea, they can be accidentally washed ashore, which means that they can sometimes be seen on the beaches. The blue dragon isn't venomous itself, but it is capable of swallowing the poisonous tentacles of siphonophores, such as the Portuguese man o' wars, and storing them in the extremities of its serrata. Touching it can result in a painful sting, with symptoms similar to those caused by the Portuguese man of war. Symptoms that may appear after a bite are nausea, pain, vomiting, acute allergic contact dermatitis, erythema, urticarial papules, potential vesicle formation, and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Number 15. Ocean Sunfish also known as the Mola Mola, this is one of the two heaviest bony fish in the world that we know of. The other one is its cousin, the Mola Alexandrini. Can you guess how big this massive fish really is? Large specimens can reach 14 feet vertically and 10 feet horizontally. Oh, and they can weigh nearly 5,000 pounds. So yeah, they're pretty big. They live in tropical and temperate waters all over the world. One of the peculiarities about the Mola Mola is that they can be as tall as they are long, giving them a very unique and original appearance, hence their name. They are generalist predators, which means they eat small fish, fish larvae, and also crustaceans. The female Mola Mola can produce more eggs than any other known vertebrate, up to 300 million at a time. The Mola Mola can become so infested with parasites that they'll often invite small fish or even birds to feast on the pesky and annoying critters. They can also breach the surface of the water up to 10 feet in the air and land with a dramatic splash in hopes of shaking the parasites away. That is why this fish remains a mystery for marine biologists. How can they survive with so many parasitic infestations on their bodies? Number 14. Sea Sapphire these beautiful little creatures are copepods, a group of small maxillopod crustaceans that are widespread throughout the planet. They live in fresh or salt water. These animals are barely visible to the naked human eye and range from about one to several millimeters in length. But the most amazing thing about these creatures is their colors and their ability to become invisible in the split of a second. Until now, the reason for their striking colors and the process by which they suddenly become transparent were unknown. But now, Israeli researchers have solved the mystery by analyzing the composition of the crystal layer on the back of the male sea sapphires, since they are the ones that exhibit striking and iridescent colors while the females are transparent. According to the scientists, the color is due to iridescence, that is, it's the result of light reflecting off periodic structures. The multi-layer reflectors, which are a type of structure known as a photonic crystal, are made of fine, transparent crystals of guanine, one of the five nitrogenous bases 
bases that form part of the nucleic acids found in DNA. According to them, the sea sapphire's approach to manipulating light could be used in the design of artificial photonic crystal structures, such as nanoscale structures that can manipulate the flow of photons. Possible uses include mirrors and optical screens and changeable reflective covers. Isn't that cool? Number 13. Ardwolf. Despite its awesome name, the Ardwolf is neither Ardvark nor Wolf. Their name, which means Earth Wolf in Afrikaans, refers to their underground dens and canine-like appearance, but it turns out they're more closely related to cats than canines. Ardwolves are one of four hyena species in the subfamily Hyenidae, along with spotted hyenas, striped hyenas, and brown hyenas. Like all hyenas, Ardwolves' front legs are longer than their back legs, allowing for a loping, low-energy gait that they can sustain for long distances. But it's also one of the reasons why people have considered them creepy-looking, threatening even, for many decades. They have a lush mane running down their back, and it can bristle up when agitated, making the Ardwolf look bigger than they are. Ardwolves most closely resemble the striped hyena, with long muzzles, large, pointed ears, and black stripes on gold fur. The species lives exclusively in Africa, within two distinct populations, one on the eastern side of the continent, from the southern tip of Egypt through central Tanzania, and the second group is in the south, ranging from central Angola and Mozambique down through South Africa. Number 12. Secretary Bird Not only are secretary birds huge, but they're also quite dangerous creatures. They are a bird of prey of the dry uplands of Africa, the only living bird of prey of terrestrial habits. It is a long-legged bird with a slender but powerful body of 3.9 feet long and a 6.9 foot wingspan. Secretary birds got their name from their appearance. They basically look like 18th century clerks, or like a disheveled, gigantic chicken. But don't be fooled by their funny looks. These birds are very efficient predators that mainly eat snakes, and they have a unique technique that none of their prey can survive. They can carry out a deadly strike that puts five times their weight right onto the snake's head, and they can do that in less than 15 milliseconds. That's about a hundred times faster than the snake itself can lunge. But not only that, it's faster than the human eye can process. That is just hands down impressive. They're so mind-blowingly precise and systematic that scientists around the world are setting up a program to ship the bird to other areas of the world to control the venomous snake population. Number 11. I I. This bizarre-looking little creature is a long-fingered lemur, a strepsirine primate native to Madagascar with rodent-like teeth that perpetually grow and a very special thin middle finger. If that's not enough to impress you already, keep watching. Its strange appearance seems to be the main reason for its name lemur, which means night spirit in Latin. The I.I. is characterized by its unusual method of finding food. It taps on trees to find grubs, then gnaws holes in the wood using its forward slanting incisors to create a small hole into which it inserts its very narrow and long middle finger to pull the grubs out. This foraging method is called percussive foraging, and it is quite unique in the world. Adults reach the approximate size of a domestic cat. In addition to its large ears, its eyes also stand out on its head. They are large and yellow, typical of the nocturnal animal that it is. Malagasy folklore considers the I.I. I. a magical creature. It has a very inexpressive face, and the fact that it's nocturnal and fast has caused superstitions to skyrocket in Madagascar. In some areas, for example in Ambanya, when an I.I. I. is seen, it must be killed and its tail or the whole animal hanged on a post at a crossroads. Local beliefs affirm that this is the way any death in the area will be avoided, and that people from outside the region who pass through the place will take the bad luck with them. For them, the animal itself personifies bad luck. Number 10. Peacock Spider this gorgeous and colorful little spider is a species of arachnid invertebrate belonging to the genus Muratus of the Salticidae family that lives in Australia and in western New Guinea. This species is the most popular of all the species of the Muratus genus, so much so that this species is known by the common name of peacock spider, a name used for all spiders of the Muratus genus. Although they all have the same ritual, the difference is between the beauty and colors of their so-called wings. The male and female are only 5 millimeters in body length. 
The front of the chest is normally dark brown with red and green stripes on the upper abdomen and patterned with somewhat wide blue and brown stripes. Like the peacock, the males of this species are endowed with strong tones, yellow, blue, and orange in what is a kind of fin that it has on its abdomen. The males, when courting a female, extend their wings, just like the bird, hence their name. They also use their lively colors to camouflage themselves. The peacock spider feeds on insects, living or dead, and from time to time there are cases of cannibalism among the species. It has excellent eyesight and can spot its prey from 20 centimeters away, which is incredibly impressive for its size. Number 9. Lowland Streaked Tenrack this adorable, spiky little creature is a species of mammal of the Tenracidae family. It inhabits the Comoros Islands, Madagascar, Mauritius, Réunion, and Seychelles. Its natural habitats are subtropical or tropical dry forests, moist lowland forests, montane region, dry savanna, rural gardens, and urban areas. As you can see, this is a very widespread species that is not facing any danger of extinction. Finally, good news coming from the animal kingdom, right? They are distinguished by two main features. The first is a rather long, black-colored nose, and the other feature is a black-colored coat, displaying yellow stripes and bright yellow spine crests located over the top of their head and acts as a means of self-defense against predators. If threatened, this species of tenrec screeches, strains its spiky hair into crests, jumps, bucks, and bites. It also takes refuge in a nest made of leaves under a rock, trunk, or bush during the day. It can give birth to up to 32 young at a time. When they're young, they may have a striped appearance with black and white stripes. Although it's sometimes called a tailless tenrec, it has a small tail of one to one and a half centimeters in length. It not only eats small invertebrates among the leaves, but also carcasses and hunts frogs and mice. Number eight, Frigate Bird. Did you enjoy the movie Jurassic World? Well, if you're looking to see, in real life, a large black pterodactyl, look no further. The magnificent frigate bird is here to give you the perfect resemblance to the prehistorical flying dinosaur. Much to the delight of beachgoers, frigate birds live in tropical areas of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Here are some facts about this gorgeous blast from the past of a bird. They can be black and red. All of them are large. They usually have a wingspan of more than seven and a half feet, although their skeleton can barely weigh four ounces, making it the largest wing area to body weight ratio of any bird. This astonishing combination of size and lightness allows them to glide effortlessly over the sea, where they keep a keen eye on other birds. If a frigate bird sees another bird catching a fish, it will harass it until it's forced to drop its prey, and it carefully catches the fish before it falls into the water. They nest in trees and bushes, and males attract females by inflating a pouch in their throats that looks like a red balloon. They almost never perch in the water. Number 7. Gerboa This adorable miniature kangaroo is actually a hopping desert rodent found throughout North Africa and Asia, and they are members of the family Dipodidae. They tend to live in hot deserts. Even though they're tiny, when chased, gerboas can run at up to 15 miles per hour. Some species are preyed on by small owls in Central Asia, but overall, most species of gerboas have excellent hearing, a quality they use to avoid becoming the prey of nocturnal predators. The typical lifespan of a gerboa is around six years. Just like kangaroos, gerboas have long hind legs, short forelegs, and long tails. They also move around in a similar manner to the Australian marsupial, which is by hopping or saltation. However, when examined closely, their locomotion differs. In addition to speed, they make use of sharp turns and great vertical leaps to confuse and escape predators. It's quite mesmerizing to watch. The tail of a gerboa can be longer than its head and body, and a white cluster of hair is commonly seen at the end of the tail. Gerboas use their tails to balance when hopping and as a prop when sitting upright. This little desert hopper is full of surprises. Number 6. Platypus 
The platypus may very well be the weirdest animal on Earth. You want to know why? Well, the platypus is a species of semi-aquatic mammal endemic to eastern Australia and the island of Tasmania. It is one of the five species, along with the four echidna, that survive today from the order of monotremes, a group that brings together the only current mammals that lay eggs instead of giving birth to live young. Yeah, that's right, the platypus is a mammal that lays eggs. The unusual appearance of this mammal, egg-laying, venomous, with a duck-billed snout, beaver's tail, and otter's feet, baffled European naturalists when they first encountered it, even leading some to consider it as an elaborate forgery. It is one of the few extant venomous mammals. Males have a spur on their hind legs that releases a venom capable of causing intense pain to humans. Its unique characteristics make it an important subject of study in the field of evolutionary biology, as well as a recognizable and iconic symbol of Australia. It has appeared as a mascot at national events and appears on the back of the Australian 20p coin. It is the animal emblem of the state of New South Wales. Until the beginning of the 20th century, it was hunted for its skin, but it's now protected throughout its range. It's not considered to be under immediate threat, although captive breeding programs have had rather limited success, and it is a vulnerable species to the effects of pollution. Number 5. Shoebill Depending on your point of view, the shoebill either has the goofy charm of the long-lost dodo, or it looks as if it may stomp you to death at any given moment. It's all about perspective. They are gray in color, and they make their nests on the ground, in which they usually lay only two eggs. Its diet consists of fish and frogs that it hunts in the swamps and stagnant waters of tropical and eastern Africa, where papyrus usually grows. The shoebill is a tall bird with a typical height range of 43 to 55 inches, with some specimens reaching up to 60 inches. The length from the tail to the bill can vary between 39 and 55 inches, and the wingspan is from 90 to 102 inches. Shoebill storks have a habit of shaking their heads back and forth like they're trying to dislodge something. In fact, that is exactly what they're doing. In the water, when sticky weeds can cling to the prey they're trying to consume, they'll shake their heads to get rid of it. They have another behavioral peculiarity. When the shoebill approaches you, take a deep bow, shaking your head from side to side. After you do this, the bird will either accept you or not, and apparently their decision is instant and they never ever change their minds about someone. Shoebill storks usually decapitate their prey before eating it, and they can make machine gun sounds to scare intruders away. There have been instances when a shoebill stork has fought an alligator and won. So yeah, you best bow down if one approaches you. If you value your life, that is. Number 4. Fishing Cat we all know that kitties go absolutely mad over a nice and juicy fish meal. They also tend to hate with a passion anything aquatic, even a cozy hot bath. Well, ironically, the fishing cat has perfected the art of fishing. Short, strongly built, and about twice the size of a domestic cat, the fishing cat is unusual in behavior amongst its kind. Fishing cats are excellent swimmers, they love water, and feed mainly on fish. But they'll also eat anything they can find, such as birds, snakes, frogs, insects, land mammals such as civets and rodents, as well as farm animals such as ducks and chickens. Fishing cats have a wide but discontinuous range, including wetland areas of mainland Asia and the islands of Sri Lanka and possibly Java. However, these small, nocturnal cats are rarely seen. Habitat loss has caused a drastic decline, and only 3,000 remain in the wild. This animal is incredibly shy and aloof, but researchers who have spent time with the fishing cat say this species could be on the verge of fame. These cats are mostly active at nighttime, and they are closely associated with wetlands, and are often found, if they manage to even spot them, among the dense grass of swamps, bogs, reed beds, dead meanders, streams, mangrove forests, and wetlands. Number 3. Turkey Vulture the turkey vulture is a species of bird cathartiforms of the cathartidae family. 
Its range extends from the southern tip of South America to southern Canada. It inhabits a variety of open and semi-open areas, including subtropical forests, shrublands, grasslands, and deserts. It's a very large bird, and it holds its wings slightly raised when it flies, making the iconic V in the air when seen head-on. Its plumage is dark brown to black. The head and neck are featherless and purple-red. Its beak is short, hooked, and ivory in color. The turkey vulture feeds almost exclusively on carrion. It locates carcasses with its keen vision and sense of smell, flying low enough to detect gases produced by the early decomposition process of dead animals. To move in the air, it takes advantage of thermals, reducing the need to flap. He spends the night in long community groups. In the past, the turkey vulture has been perceived as a threat by ranchers who think it spreads livestock diseases such as anthrax or swine fever. However, the digestive tract of the turkey vulture has powerful acids that destroy viruses. There's also the perception that the turkey vulture attacks newborn animals. This perception is wrong. The turkey vulture does not kill live animals, although it does mix with groups of black vultures that incidentally kill isolated calves. Number 2. Peacock Mantis Shrimp The Peacock Mantis Shrimp is both the beauty and the beast. It is a very effective aquatic killing machine wrapped up in a very attractive package. With 250 million years of evolutionary history behind it, the Peacock Mantis Shrimp has figured out how to find and kill prey with impressive skill, and it even looks cool while doing it. The Peacock Mantis Shrimp has an exceptionally strong and fast offensive weapon in its hammer arms. A system of bolts keeps the arm muscles flexed until they are ready to fire. When the latch is released, the arm launches forward at speeds of up to 45 miles per hour, the fastest attack system of any animal on Earth. Pent-up muscle tension coupled with saddle-shaped springs in the upper arm deliver crushing, killing blows. A blow from this colorful shrimp can deliver as much force as a 22 caliber bullet. Imagine that! The mantis shrimp also has the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom. It's capable of seeing UV and infrared light spectra. It has 16 types of photoreceptor cells, 12 of which are specialized for different colors. Its eyes can move independently of one another, expanding its field of vision. The eye is also divided into three parts that perceive movement, shapes, depth, and color. Male mantis shrimp can see light in a much different way than any other animal. They can see circular polarized light, so for these crustaceans, it's like they're able to put on a pair of 3D glasses to see with an extra layer of depth. Researchers haven't yet determined why the male mantis shrimp has this ability, but since it's a sex-specific trait, the reason for it's most likely related to mating. Number 1. Cape Buffalo This is the largest and most formidable wild bovine of Africa. The Cape Buffalo has a large and strong constitution and can weigh up to 2,204 pounds. Its fur is black or dark brown, longer at the end of the tail and the edges of the ears. Although the most characteristic features of this animal are its thick and elongated horns, which are curved at the ends. This animal lives in the forests and savanna of sub-Saharan Africa. It's distributed mainly in the east, as well as in the center of the continent in a fragmented way from Senegal to Ethiopia. They generally prefer the plains to the mountains, and above all, they like to live in places where there is plenty of water, so they avoid arid areas. It's common to find them submerged in the mud. This species is sociable by nature and always lives in herds that can vary in size, from a few specimens to thousands of them. As a curious fact, the males occupy the margins of the herd, while the females and young are located in the center where they're more protected. Cape buffaloes are dangerous, irascible, and bad-tempered animals, especially if they feel threatened or have been injured, and they can reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. For these reasons, they have almost no predators. As you can see, nature is full of surprises and proves time after time that it can get a lot more creative than we think. What about you? Which one of these amazing animals that shouldn't exist is your favorite? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.